Good evening, class. Wow, we have a small class today. <laughs> Good evening. Hi. Hi, Heidi. Hi. Welcome. How are you? I'm happy that it's Friday. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I know. It's finally Friday. Ooh. Oh, <laughs> yes, I know. We, 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 we made it. We made it to, yeah. to this far, yes. Um, so, um, yeah, the problem is I find that we wait for the Friday to come and then Saturday and Sunday go like this and then it's Monday again. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah that's, that's the bad thing, but you know, at least we, we got to enjoy what we have. Hello, Ronald, how are you? Oh, fine, fine. Good, good. I'm glad. I'm glad to um, be able to see you. Um, um, okay, just give me a second. Really Ronald, is that a P? Is that a, a, a church or, or where is it? Yeah, it's a Mexico church. Really? Yeah, Mexico City. The cathedral. Mm, beautiful. Thank you. Okay, so um, you went to the to Mexico. Yeah, recently I went. Oh really? Wow. When when did you go? Mm, around two weeks ago, oh. but I went for work, not for. Not for, for pleasure. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, well, still though, I'm sure that you were able to um, see some things, right? Yeah, I I go out some. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, that's very nice. Good. I'm I'm glad you were able to do that. Okay. Well. Um, all right. Uh, welcome, eh, Josué. How are you? Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. I'm fine. Good, good, good. Okay, how was your day today? Mm, relax uh, was my uh, free day. Oh, good. So you had a day off today, that's nice. Yep. You slept in late, I guess, right? <laughs> yeah, almost <laughs> eight or nine p.m. Eight nine. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. I would, I would love to be able to do that. <laughs> yeah. But um, you know, maybe. Well, I, I think this. Well, Sunday, I think I'll be able to wake up at least at eight o'clock. So that'll be nice. <laughs> I haven't been able to wake up for, at, at that time for a long time. So um, yeah, I'm looking forward to that. Okay, and uh, welcome, Ivan. How Good are evening. you? Good evening. How are you? Fine. You? Good. Good. I'm. I'm pretty good. Yeah. Because it's Friday. Yeah. It's Friday. <laughs> but it now tonight. Yeah, and I bang knows it after the yeah. class. Yeah, the yes. body knows it definitely. I bang knows it. <laughs> yes. <He> knows it. <laughs> yes. Barbara okay. Ana Claudia. <laughs> yes. Speaking of Ana Claudia, how are you, Ana Claudia? Fine. Uh, fine. Thank you. Thank you for asking, teacher. Good. Anna Claudia is very happy. I I heard that. Oh yes, I'm happy. No, oh, I'm happy because it's Friday too. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's nice. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, guys, um, we're gonna start with uh, our daily routine, which is taking attendance. Um, so let's start with that. Anna Claudia. Present teacher. Wonderful. And Andres. Andres, no, okay. All right, um, Claudia. Present. All right, welcome, Claudia. And Edgar? Edgar, no. Okay, Irvin? Present. Welcome, Irvin. 
Heidi. Present teacher. Welcome, Heidi. Irene. Irene. No, okay. Uh, Ivan. Present teacher. Welcome, Ivan. Thanks, teacher. Jose Montes. Jose Montes. No, okay. All right, Jose Ayala. Jose Ayala. Okay. And what about Josue? Present teacher. All right, welcome, Josue. Yes, Juan Francisco. Ya voy, ya voy, ya voy. Juan Francisco. Gracias. Ya. ¿Ah? Juan Francisco. No. Okay. Um, Jerry. Is Jerry here? Okay. All right. Luis. Luis. No. Okay. Uh, Natalia. Oh, I think, oh yeah. Natalia. Present teacher. Okay, welcome Natalia. And Ronald. Present teacher. Welcome Ronald. Thank you. Wendy. Present. <laughs> Welcome, Wendy. Warner. Present teacher. Welcome, Warner. Thank you. And Yvonne. Present. Welcome, Yvonne. Okay, Thank great. You. So let me just make sure that I haven't missed anybody. Let me tell you the people that I didn't hear, which were Andres. Edgar, Irene, Jose Montes, Jose Ayala, Juan Francisco. Present teacher, oh. good time. Good evening, Juan Francisco. Good evening, teacher. All right, thank you. Jury, I didn't hear jury. Luis, and that's it everybody else I heard. Okay. All right, guys. So um, welcome to today's class. Um, yes, it is finally Friday, right? So oh, we're so happy about that. Um, and um, we are going to be, uh, we're going to begin our class uh, by starting with the PowerPoint presentation. So as usual, please tell me if you can see it um, or you're having problems seeing it. Can you see it or no? Yes, yes. yes I can see yes, it. Can you see it well? No. Very well. It's not oh, complete. I, okay. I saw. Okay, hold on. Let yeah. me let me let me stop sharing. Let's try this again then. Okay. Oh, you see? It's complete. Yes. Yes? Yeah. Yeah. All yes, right. Good. Okay, so um, today we're going to be looking at the, the verb agreement with com uh, with complex subjects. Uh, it's um, your, your teacher is Jessica Guerrero, right, or your facilitator. And it's the intermediate two, and it's class number seven. Okay, so let's begin with this. Yesterday I started explaining this. But, um, uh, well, some people I think were not here 
and other people may have been a little bit confused. So I'm going to um, quickly explain this again, okay? So we're gonna start first of all with the verb agreement with complex subject. The first thing we need to understand is what a complex subject is. Who would like to remind me what is a complex subject? Teacher, I understood that there are, uh, well, there is a sentence of, of subject that is, uh, has an expression of quantity on it. Okay. Um, not necessarily. It can, uh -huh. not necessarily. But in general, what is a complex subject? Mm -hmm. In general, what's a complex subject? Who wants to explain to me what is a, a complex subject? Because we need to understand what is a complex subject too, right? So in order to, well, understand this, otherwise it's gonna become a little bit unclear. Mm-hmm. Nobody knows? I understood the same way. There are subjects that are preceded by a word that indicates quantity. So mm -hmm. subjects that are composed for more than one word, you say? Uh-huh, very good, exactly. Um, so a complex subject, what, what is the word complex? What, what does that indicate? Complejo. Complejo. Right. So, can you explain to me what is complex in English? It sounds complicated. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's like uh, something that brings you additional information. I think. Okay, very good. Okay, exactly. So, it's, it's something that is composed of many parts. Mm, composed okay? of many parts. Yeah, that's what a complex is. Um, so it's not just something singular, but it's composed of many different parts that come together. Mm -hmm. That's complex. Okay. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Yeah? <clears throat> yes, teacher. Right? So I'll repeat. So then it, once you understand that, we understand that the subject is, or complex subjects are subjects that are composed of many parts that it doesn't just, it's not a singular thing. So it's different, for example, uh, when you have um, like one word, like for example, um, I don't know, Peter, or um, I don't know, or um, a, or they, or I. That's just one. That that's a that's a singular. That or better said, that's a mono, uh, mono word um, subject, right? So it's just composed of one word. Or even even if it's like, for example, with the my like my parents, right? Um, you know, or um, the class, et cetera, et cetera. So that's just it's. It's very, it's a singular subject, right? There's nothing else to it. But a complex subject is a subject that is composed of many parts, okay? So you do need to understand that. So in order to understand what um, the, the verb agreement with complex subjects, okay? Because what happens is that in this, in this um, subject, the subject is not just the decision, right? It's not just the decisions, it's more than that. And something that you have to understand with complex subjects is that they're complex because not just to make it complicated, but because it gives you more information. It gives you um, very specific information that 
um, helps you to understand the subject better. In this case, it's not just the decision, but it's the first of the decisions. Yeah? So we're not just looking about, oh, lots of decisions. We're talking about the first one. Does that make sense? Yeah? OK, good. Um, the same, so over here, the same thing. It's not just things, right? Or it's not just um, things, and it's not just even, so here we're not just talking about, talking about things. And in fact, we're not even just talking about uh, good things. It's not just about good things. It's one, one of the good things, one of them. Ah, but it's even more, more specific. What good things? The good things I like about working with you all. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's being more specific. It's not just saying, "Ah, oh, yeah, some good things," right? We're thinking, we're talking about what good things? The good things that I like about working with you all, and which one? Oh, the one of them, not two, not three, not four. Okay. So all of this is a subject, all of it, okay? The same thing here. In this one, it's not just, it's not just decisions. We're not talking about decisions. We're talking about, and, and in fact, it's not just about the difficult decisions, right? We're giving, we're talking about what kind of difficult decisions? We're talking about this difficult decisions to make, to make in relation vision. to the fancy Thanks. material. Right? Those mm -hmm. kind of difficult decisions. Ah, but there's more. Now we're giving the information in, in that complex sentence, we are also talking about the quantity. How many? Some of them. Not all of them, we're not talking about all of them, we're just talking about some of them, okay? The same thing happens with this one over here. It's not just the developers, right? We're not just talking about developers. We're talking about the, oh, we're not just talking about the developers, and we're not just talking about the product developers. We're giving you information about how many, how many of the product developers. It's a majority of, okay? So do we understand what a complex subject is? Yeah. The, the confusion I got, uh... Yesterday, it was uh, with the platform in the sentence using a number. So I, because there is an exercise that it says a number of customers and the customers is in plural. So okay, I don't know if an a number is used just for singular. I don't know. Okay, well, we're gonna, we're gonna get there in a moment, okay? Okay. We're gonna okay. get there in a moment, okay? Um, all right, so is this pretty clear for everybody? Yes, the exceptions are a majority and a number. Yeah, is that pretty clear for everybody? What a complex subject is? Anybody need more explanation of what a complex subject is? Um. Uh, in my case, teacher, I think the explanation is okay, but in the practice, for example, in the exercise B, uh, you have um, two uh, like subjects and verbs. For example, you have one of good things, and you had I, and you have you, and you have the, the verb like and working and so it's confused to determine where the subject the subject ends for me at first sight uh, 
the, the subject is one of the good things because uh, you have, I like, for me that is the verb, but it's more, uh, it's bigger than, than, than the good things. Uh, for me, this is the difficult uh, to determine where determine. the complex subject, aha. Uh -huh. yes. Determine, not determine it, determine. Mm -hmm. It's very, for me, that is the, the is difficult uh, to determine uh, where the subject uh, ends. Okay. Okay, I have a question for you. So, for example, you in letter B, right? This one, letter B. Where did you think the What do you think? What did you think was the verb? Uh, uh, um, well, uh, you have like. Okay. And you have working, but and in the definition is is clear as a. If okay. the subject is in singular, the verb. Uh, is in singular but okay uh, I, I it's... understand you are trying you're you're saying that it's difficult for you to identify what is this complex subject right mm -hmm. okay so i'll repeat my question what did you think was the verb in this sentence what did you think originally was the verb is that's what you thought was the subject the the verb Yes. So if you understand that this is the verb, then you will understand that everything before the verb is the subject. Mm -hmm. It's that simple. So if you are able to identify the verb, you are able to identify the, the subject. And the subject will be everything that goes before the verb. No matter if you have other verbs in the uh, in the subject. Okay, but but I'm asking you, what is the verb in the in the set of the sentence? Okay, uh, the question is because this is the example. Uh, the example has the explanation, but in the okay, practice, no, but, you don't have an explanation, okay, and it's but, easy to confuse to get confused. Okay, so that's why I'm, I'm going to ask you again the same question. What did you, did you, not the, not the explanation, what did you originally think was the subject? Like. Okay, all right, let's analyze it. So you believed that the, the verb was like. Yes? Uh -huh. Yes. Okay, good. Now, because you believe that this is the verb, then that means that everything before it would be the subject. Uh -huh. Does this make sense? One of the good uh -huh. things I like. Uh -huh. does, it, does that make sense? Is that a complete subject? One of the things I, is that a subject? Uh -huh. Because we yeah. know we know the verb we know that everything before the verb is a subject. Mm -hmm. If you believe that like is the subject, sorry, sorry, the verb, then you will believe that all of this is a subject. Does that make sense to you if I say one of the good things I? <laughs> no. No, it doesn't. It doesn't make sense. Right? Uh -huh. So this is not the main verb. This like okay. is part of the subject. Does that make sense for you? Mm -hmm. Yes. Be sure. Yes. Yeah? Uh huh. Uh, that means that we are going to find a verb to be between the subject in the next part of the the sentence. That bear to be can be can be has in that case is is. We must identify this part of the the sentence. The verb. The bear to be. Not it. Not necessarily. It's not necessarily going to be the verb to be. It can be any verb. 
For example, well, now that we understand what is the, sub the complex subject, it's easy to identify what is the verb. The verb is the one that goes after the subject. And in this case, for example, it's has, right? And then this one is be, right? And in this one, it's also be. And in this one, it's prefer. Teacher, maybe you can show us another examples. About what? Yes, maybe we practice, we are going to understand it. Okay, but, but okay, I, what I want to know though is, are you having problems identifying the verb agreement or are you having problems identifying what is a complex subject? Both of them. <laughs> Okay. But but first, oh, we have to go by steps, right? Because, so are you having trouble understanding what a complex subject is or do you, are you having trouble doing the verb agreement? I think it's easier because uh, if you can ident identify uh, the verb, you know all the words that are uh, behind the verb is the complex subject. Yes, you're absolutely right, Yvonne. Yes, if you are able to identify the verb, then you, because, see, English has a natural way of, it's a, a natural um, word order. So the word order in English is subject, verb, complement, right? That's, that's the, the way that it always works in English. So if you are able to identify what the verb is, right? Then you are able to identify what comes before it, which in this case would be the subject, okay? So using that theory, Let's go back to these ones. What, according to you, what is the verb in this one? In this sentence, the first of the decision has been made to go ahead with a plan. If you were, if you were just going to look at the verb for the first time, I'm sorry, the, sub, uh, the, the sentence for the first time. What would you say is the verb? In the, in the first one is has because according to uh, the explanation that you tell me, if, um, for example, if I, I, I try with me, uh, the subject uh, is the first of the decision has been, but is is it, it don't have sense have? to say that. It doesn't make so, sense. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, in, if I uh, take has, uh, the subject is the first of the decisions and it's, uh, it's better uh, that the choice uh, we, I think that we have to try with all the verbs that you uh, that we have in the in the sentence. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So actually, and actually, I was um, I gave you I gave you a partial um, answer the first time because it's not it's, it is has, but it's not just has. It's has been made because has been is part of the the auxiliary. Okay, 
So yes, has been made. Okay. Yeah, we need to identify. Okay, what you have to do, guys, is be able to identify what is the verb of this uh, of the sentence. Because if you cannot identify what is the verb of the sentence, you're going to end up just looking at any verb that comes in mind. And to give an example, is working a verb? Yes, it's a verb. It's a verb. Is working a verb, guys? Yes. Is, it, is a verb? Yes. But in this case, it's used not as the principal verb. Nope, it's not even a verb. Working, working is an action. It's an to work action. is the verb. Uh -huh. Exactly. It's an action. This is a gerund. Gerund. Gerunds are not verbs. Acuérdense eso. Gerunds are not verbs. This is a gerund. Okay? So we can't even say that this, this is a possibility of, an act, uh, of the verb because this is not a verb. It's an action. An action is a noun. Mm -hmm. Right? Una acción. Una acción. So that's, it's a noun. It's not talking about a verb. Okay, so you have to be able to identify what is the actual action of the idea. Okay, yeah. Okay, so, um, all right, so over here then. Okay, so now we have identified this, the, the verb. Over here, what is the verb? What is the verb? Jury, what is the verb? In, that, in letter B. Uh, the, ver, the verb to be. Okay, so what is it? Is. Okay. All right. All right, it, you're saying that it's that, that the verb is is just because um, that's what it says here or can you, are you able to identify with no problem? So that's the verb. In this case, I think it's easy to identify because you can see the verb to be there. Okay. Uh, but maybe it's, for me, it's going to be complicated when you are going to have there uh, other, uh, other verb, different the verb to be or verb, uh, auxiliary verb. Mm -hmm. But but were you able to identify this one without any problem? In that case, yes. Okay. Okay. Good. Thank you. All right. Uh, Wendy, tell me what is the the verb in this sentence over here? Teacher, I right now I don't understand any because yesterday I don't I went the class. I right now I pay attention. I know, okay. I know, Wendy. That's okay. That I'm starting from zero. Right now I'm starting from zero because I haven't even explained the verb agreement. Right now we're just identifying what the verb is. So tell me, Wendy, according to you, what is the verb in the sentence? Make. Make. Okay. But if make is the verb, if, if make is the verb, um, Wendy, then everything before make is going to be the subject. Right? So that means that all of this is the subject. Does that make sense that this is a subject? ¿Qué piensas? ¿Tiene sentido que todo esto sea el, el, el pronombre sujeto? It, it can be R. Okay, just, okay, we're going to just concentrate. I'm, I'm, I'm going to ask 
O sea, quiero, lo que estoy pretendiendo hacer es razonar con ustedes en cuanto a esas dudas que ustedes tienen. Se me dice, no pueden identificar cuál es el verbo. Entonces, hagamos, de la, los, hagamos las, um, los errores que, que, que normalmente haríamos para ver por qué eso no es posible. Eso es lo que estoy diciendo. Así que no tienen que darme las respuestas correctas. Solo quiero, quiero que podamos razonar todos juntos como clase por qué eso no es posible. ¿Me explico? ¿Ya? Ok, so, so Wendy, le pregunto otra vez. Si ese es el, el, el verbo, todo lo anterior tiene que ser el, el, el subject, ¿verdad? Porque esa es la regla en inglés, ¿verdad? Que todo lo que viene antes del verbo es el subject. Entonces, ¿le parece lógico pensar que esto es el subject? Some difficult decisions too. Right now, I I don't understand uh, really uh, the uh, the rule, and I I don't know uh, uh, what is the answer because I understand <laughs> okay uh, any uh, but uh in the rule is uh, is true the subject is, the next is the verb. But I don't know it's correct because it, the subject is very long, very big, sorry, uh, but I don't know. Okay, but, but what I'm asking you is, does it make sense? O sea, tiene lógica, tiene sentido. Eh, que un, un, decir, some difficult decisions too. Este suena como un, 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 um, un sujeto. Algunas decisiones difíciles a. Ah, ¿Suena como un sujeto eso? No. No, it doesn't. But uh, I, I don't see all, all other verb. Okay, entonces the make is not possible. That's not the verb. Yeah, okay. but, but for me, it is the, is the verb, but I don't know sí. what pero, is the pero, other verb. Okay. Do, but do you understand why it can't be that verb? Yeah. Yes? yes. Is, is it clear for you, Wendy? Why this can't be the verb? Why is can be? No. Why it can't be? No, because okay. uh, it, it, the rule is the, I, I say me uh, the subject and my, I don't know how to say pista. Uh, I I I uh, browse the the verb for me is the make, and I okay in my case I I, I could the in, in the verb, but I don't okay. know. But <laughs> sorry, but, teacher. No, no, it's okay. But it, I'm trying to to make you understand why this can't be the answer. Bye. Le vuelvo, se lo vuelvo a preguntar, ¿le parece que esto puede ser un sujeto? Porque la regla es esto, o sea, la regla en inglés es esto. Ya, yeah, but don't have a... Subject is no logical. So the subject has to be before the verb. If this is the verb, mm -hmm. then all of this is a subject. So do you think that this makes sense, that this is a subject? Some difficult decisions too. Uh, okay, uh, the rule say me yes, but the uh, in the is not logical for me. The, the uh, I don't know the idea. The, this can yeah, uh, yes, uh, yes, is is hmm. not logical. Right, but the, exactly. Uh huh. That that's right. You're absolutely right, Wendy. So this cannot be the verb. So descartamos esa idea. Yeah? Okay, so if, if this doesn't, o sea, esto es como trial and error. Do you know, do you understand trial and error? O sea, prueba, 
prueba y uh -huh. intentar y probar. ¿verdad? Vamos a ver. Uh -huh. Ya intentamos y no, no funciona. Estos dos no, no funcionan. Entonces, determinamos this cannot be the verb. Right? May cannot be the verb. Okay? Vaya. What, what could be another possibility, Wendy? What is another? I don't, know. I don't know, but for maybe it's R. Okay, let's try R. Pongamos esto. Vamos a, a ver si tiene sentido. We're, we're trying this out. Okay. So, um, all right, so this, we're trying this out. If R is the verb, then that means that all of this is a subject. All of it, right? That according to the rule that we have here, right? This has to be the subject. Okay, so let's see if it works. Do you think it makes sense that the subject is some difficult decisions to make in relation to fancy material? Is that, does that make sense? How would you, huh? Mm. Wendy? Uh, yes, maybe it's not complement, not complete the, the idea, but have a more um, sentiment. Sense, it makes sense. sense. Yes, makes sense. Okay. All right, how would you say that in Spanish? Sería eh, como, uh, I don't know, correct, eh, algunas decisiones que se toman en relación al material caro o algo así, no. Ajá, uh -huh. ok, good. No. Algunas decisiones difíciles uh -huh. a, a, a tomar en relación a uh, material caro. Fancy for me es como caro, ajá. Ajá, elegante, ajá, ok. So, ajá, ajá. Okay. Yeah. Does, does that make sense now? Mm -hmm. Now it makes sense, hoy sí, hoy sí tiene sentido. Now this makes sense that this is a subject because we're talking about the difficult decisions, but what kind of difficult decisions? about the relations to fancy material, those kind of decisions, okay? So then it's okay. Okay? Oh, you see? Yeah, teacher, have a sense, but I don't know is difficult for me because I don't know is correct. R is a verb. R comes from the verb to be. Yeah, but... I don't know, my mind is, I don't know. <laughs> okay. How would you say this in Spanish? ¿Qué diría esta oración en español? Algunas decisiones difíciles eh, en relación al... ¿Qué tomar? ¿Qué tomamos? ¿O, o qué toma? Eh, ¿O oh, qué tomar? Algunas decisiones difíciles que tomar en relación a material... Eh, caro. Uh -huh. Son sobre el costo Son y la calidad. Sobre el costo y la calidad, correcto. Uh -huh. Ahí está. Teacher, that uh, the complex subject is basically uh, an explanation about the subject. You're giving more details about the subject. Because you can say material are about the cost that uh, quali qualify, but you, you could... need to explain more about yeah. what are you saying in that case. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Teacher, yeah okay. and, teacher, and the, for example, there is any possibility to, to, the, to change the order for the, for the sentence and we can find the complex object at the end. No. No. Then it's on a subject. It's always the, the same 
order to it's the sentence. Because it's not a subject then. Because subjects are at the beginning of the sentence. Okay. Because that's the order that we have in English. Subject plus verb plus complement. Okay? If it's a subject, if, the, if it's an object, that's another, that, that's another story. Okay, does that make sense? Yes. Okay, so if it's a subject, it would be at the beginning. If it's an object, that's another thing. There are complex objects, yes, but we're talking about complex subjects right now. Okay, all right. But we could say difficult decisions are about the cost and the quality. That's fine. Yeah, then it makes it simple, right? The subject would be difficult decisions, right? You're yes. following me? Yes, but it is something that doesn't have sense in that way. Right. It really doesn't make sense. Why? Because we want to be more specific. We, mm -hmm. right? What kind of difficult decisions? It's difficult decisions to make in relation to fancy material. Ah, okay. And then, then we add even more, um, a more specific, which is the word some. And some tell you, ah, okay, algunos, right? Not, not all of them. Is so we're not talking about all the different decisions. We're just talking about some of them. Okay. So, like I said, this is okay. You could say that. There's nothing grammatically wrong with this, but to make it more specific, we need to have a complex subject. Teacher. Uh, I don't know if he's understanding correctly, but the, every sentence in there appear that is a part of the group that you are going to have with a with a problem or, a, or some identification that you need to remark in the sentence. For example, you are saying some difficult some in that case some, but the first one is the first, and the letter B one. And the other one, majority, majority. Yeah, we'll we'll talk about that in a moment. We'll we'll talk about that in a moment. I I first the first step I need you guys to understand is this: o sea, no no me hace mucho estar explicando lo que es el verb agreement y todo si todavía no entendemos un complex subject. Sí, eso es lo que estoy tratando de hacer ahorita. Primero vamos por pasos y tratar de entender qué es un complex subject, identificarlo. Yeah. Okay. So, does this make sense for you guys? Yeah. Okay, guys, you're gonna have to open up your microphone because if you're just quiet, pueden estar así diciendo sí en su en su mente o pero si no abren su micrófono y todo no voy no voy a saber. So, does this make sense for you guys so far? Yeah. Yes, teacher. Yes, yes, teacher. Okay, good, good, good. But we're gonna do the last one. A majority of product developers prefer to use blind tests. What is the verb? Prefer. 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 Okay. Bye. Oops. Okay. Prefer. Okay. Good. So now that we know the verbs in all of these, it's easy to be able to identify the complex subject. The complex subject is going to be everything before the verb. So in this case, it's, uh, hold on. In this case, it's the first of the decisions. In this one, it's one of the good things I like about working with you all. In this one is some difficult decisions to make in relation to fancy material. In this one, it's a majority of product developers. See? Is it easier now to identify what the complex subject is? Yes. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. 
So like I said, if you want it, probably the easiest way would be first identify the verb and then everything before that is going to be the, the complex subject. You just gotta make sure that it makes sense. So tell, tell me, in this one, tell me what this means in Spanish. The first of the decisions has been made to go ahead with the plan. How would you say that in Spanish? Which, sorry teacher, which, which sentence? This one, letter. Yeah, which sentence? The first of the decisions has been made to go ahead with the plan. La primera de las decisiones han sido, han sido tomadas para ir, para continuar con el plan. Very good. Mm -hmm. Exactly. La primera de las decisiones ha sido tomada para continuar con el plan. Good. Next. One of the good things I like about working with you all is the effort you made to do the job right. How would you say that in Spanish? Una de las buenas de las cosas buenas que me gusta sobre tra, sobre trabajar acerca de trabajar contigo es es el esfuerzo que haces para hacer el trabajo bien. Good, good. Just that it wouldn't be contigo because it says you all, you all identifies that it's plural. So entonces sería yes. con ustedes. Mm -hmm. Very good, con ustedes. So una de las cosas buenas que me gusta cerca de trabajar con ustedes o con todos ustedes es el esfuerzo que ustedes hacen para hacer el trabajo bien. ¿Ya? Yeah? Ok, we already did this one, right? We did this one in Spanish, which is algunas de las decisiones difíciles para eh, um, algunas de las decisiones difíciles que tomar en relación al eh, material lo, um, eh, caro es o son uh, el costo y la calidad. And this one, the last one, a majority product develops prefer to use blind tests. La mayoría de los desarrolladores de productos prefieren usar eh, pruebas eh, sin ver, digámoslo así. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Very good. Oh, pruebas a ciegas. Ciegas. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Exactly. There you go. Okay. But now that we understand that, we understand, so we've learned, we've understood how to identify the verb, how to identify the complex subject, and what this says in Spanish. Now we're going to talk about verb agreement. Okay. But the first thing I'm going to talk to you about with the verb agreement is that here we're talking about a verb agreements with the number of the quantifier. Not all complex subjects has a number of the quantifier, not all of them. But specifically in the one in the sentences that we're concentrating on, they do. So it would be the first, first is the number. In this one? One of. One of. That identifies the number of the quantifier. In this one? Some. Some. In this one? Majority. A majority of. Okay. Oh, I see. It's it's clear. What the the what the number of the quantifier is? Yes. yes. No. Yes. Okay. Good. Um. Okay, so, um, all right, so now that we've done that, 
we're going to be, we're now going to concentrate that on the number of the quantifier, not on the actual noun, okay? We're not going to be talking about the actual noun. We're gonna be talking about uh, the, the number, okay? If it's singular or plural. So the first, is it singular or plural? Singular. Singular. It's singular, yes, very good, exactly. That's why, because it's singular, we're gonna be using the singular form of the verb. In this case, we're using has, the singular form of have. In this one, one of, is it singular or plural? Singular. Singular. So that's why we're gonna be using is and not are. Okay, and in this one, some is it singular or plural? Plural. 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 That's where we're going to be using R. Now over here, a majority of a majority is singular, right? But when we are using the rule is when we're using the the word a majority or a number, then in that case, we're gonna be taking, uh, sorry, if it's a plural noun, we're gonna be using also a plural verb. So we don't base it on the number of the quantifier, we base it on the noun. So this is like an exception, okay? Does that make sense? So this is an exemption, a majority and a number. It, when you use these two words, we do not pay attention to the number, which is a, ah, right? We pay attention to the verb. In this case, if it's plural, we're gonna be using the plural form. That's why we use prefer and not prefers. Okay? So far, so good? Because it's developers, teacher. Because, exactly, because we're talking about developers. And developers is plural. So that's why we're going to be using prefer, not prefers. OK? Does that make sense for everybody? Or a majority, you are talking about more than one element, too. Um, yes, that's true. But uh, but a number is not. <laughs> so that's why it's a it's an it's it's an exception. Tell me an example using a number. A number. Mm -hmm. to see that uh, using the plural in that way because a majority can be identified but I can identify but a, a number I think is going to be number, interesting uh, to... Um, uh, a number of, um, I don't know, a number of customers uh, accept the product. Okay, accept the product. Sure, that works. A number of customers accept, accept the product. So in this case, the verb is, what's the verb? Accept, accept. very good. Accept. And use, using, the, um, 
using the the rule that we just talked about before everything before the verb is the um is the subject the complex subject so it's a number of customers is this the complex subject right and here we're using the word a number okay and because we're using the word a number we don't really pay attention to the, the word a uh, we pay attention to the word customers and because customers is plural then we're going to be used to using the plural form of accept which is accept okay how does that work for you does that make sense teacher that is the example like in the platform that it says a number of customers it should be are satisfied because the verb is in plural. But when you select are, it shows incorrect, like I sent you yesterday. Yes, I know. I know, um, uh, Ana Claudia, right now I was actually checking that that sentence out and you were actually right. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, yeah, I, so I will, I will report that. Mm -hmm. that okay, thank you. Detail. Yeah, no worries. Okay, so... Uh, any so now are there any doubts about this no teacher no. let me know speak now or forever hold your peace <laughs> yeah yeah yes dan are you also speak now or forever hold your peace no no Habla ahora o calla para siempre. <laughs> exactly. That's how it is in Spanish. So? It's clear now. Yes, teacher. Yeah? Yes, okay. teacher. All right, good. Okay. Those subjects are really complex. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I know. I, I, in some of them, they exaggerated, I think, but, but it's, but, but it, it is true. I mean, they do happen, right? So it's important that you guys are able to identify them. I always uh, look uh, all these kind of sentences in my, in my job, in trainers, but I didn't know the name of all of those. Yeah, <laughs> now I know the name. All complex subjects. Uh, yeah. And we just want to make sure that the verb agrees with the complex subject. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So I'm going to stop sharing because it's that time of the attendance. Of the attendance. That's right. Um, okay. We que pasó. I don't know. Ah, bueno. Sorry. <laughs> Yo que no tenía todo el. Pensé que se me habían desconectado mucho, pero no. Okay. All right. <laughs> me preocupé. Dije, ¿Qué les pasó? Dije, se asustaron. Se asustaron. <laughs> okay. All right. Ana Claudia. Present teacher. Right. Andres. Uh, no, All right. this is not here. No. Okay. Uh, Claudia. Present teacher. Great. Um, Edgar. Present teacher. Okay. Great. Um, Urban. Present teacher. Okay. Heidi. Present teacher. Excellent. Irene. Present teacher. All right. Uh, Ivan. Present teacher. Good. Jose Montes. Jose Ayala. Josue. Present teacher. Okay. Juan Francisco. Present teacher. All right. Jerry. Present teacher. Okay. Um, and uh, Luis. Present teacher. All right. And um, Natalia. Present teacher. Great. Uh, Ronald. Present teacher. Great. Uh, Wendy. Present. Okay, great. Warner. Present teacher. Okay, and Yvonne. Present. Great, excellent. 
Okay, so what we're going to do right now is we're going to get you guys to work in pairs. And what we're going to do is uh, we're going to be working on this. So it says work with a partner, read the statements below, choose the verb from the that agrees with the subject, report your answers to the class. So this shouldn't be too difficult. All you're gonna do, for example, number one, some of the participants in the testing group have or has not arrived. Which one? Have not or has not? You're gonna decide. So we're gonna put, there are six exercises and we're going to get everybody to um, work in pairs and complete this. So uh, let me make, Let me make the breakout rooms. Um, okay. I'm going to give you guys, I'll give you guys 10 minutes to do this, okay? And I'm opening up the groups right now. Up is uh, uh, some is, is plural. Yes, yes. that's right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. In that wow. case, we are going. Teacher. No. <laughs> uh, in this case, just we are going to select what 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 bear or what what bear are we going to use here? For example, in the first one, we are going to use have. Right. Yeah, you're, yeah, the idea is to select which one is the correct yes, one. Okay. Okay. And the second one say one of the factors of design on the best type of the test is are the characteristics of the product itself. Um, is, is, is one? one. Yes, is is a yeah. singular. Singular. A number of customers is are satisfied with the performance of the new mob. What is mob? Um, no, no, a number is, is a number is such plural. It's, it's plural. R. Mm -hmm. R. The yes. first of this suggestion I want to implement implement. Implement is are the decision of label is a singular singular first is mm -hmm. a majority yeah. of test testers have has point point out the need the need to make our product lighter later lighter lighter Later. 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 Yeah. In this case, I uh, have, have. It's have. a plural. Yeah. And the last one is suggest. It's a plural too. Yeah. Okay. We did it. A number of comments subjects. Make sure you all agree. 
and why. Hmm? Make what? sure you all agree. Uh, are, are you agree with, with the, what with, with the burn that we select, Edgar? At the first one, what uh, do you uh, have? The, the, the five, the five At the first one. Ah, the, the third. The mm -hmm. first one is uh, uh, how. Yes, I have how to. Yes. At the second one. How? The second one is is. And the number three. One. Number three is uh, uh, R. Number four. Number four is. Number five. Number five is how. And the number six. Number six is uh, number subjects. With S? No. Subjects. Ah, uh, yeah, S. Com complex S. To find it's a plural. Leader. It's plural. It's an uh, exception. It's exception, yeah. Okay, we have the same teacher. With mistake, maybe, but the same. <laughs> okay. All right. So, what do you guys think about this? Do we? Does it make sense for you guys? Are you confused about it? Tell me. No. When you explain, I again that I understand it, but at the first time, I was really confused trying to understand what is going to be the subject, what is going to be the verb, and the complement of the sentence. But when you recognize that you are a complex subject there, you must identify what is your complex subject. Yeah. So you guys understand yeah. the complex subject? Mm, a little bit, but we are better now when you explain us. Okay, when I explain to you. The difficulty is, is to uh, uh, identify a subject. I is confused. And, and with, those more, no? with those examples, it is easy to identify. Yeah. Okay, have you guys had um, practice in the... Um, in the, what's it called, in the platform? No. Today I'm going to do this, this quiz. Okay. Okay. So you haven't had the opportunity then, not yet. Right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. No. Right. Today I, ain't going, I, I guess that I am going to do it to do it today uh, because I guess that that part is evaluated there, right? Okay. Uh, sorry, what was it? I guess that the platform, we are going to find a complex object. Yes. Okay, and then we are going to practice if we understand it. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Okay, good. Um, all right, you guys, you guys are confident then? Yes. Do you think that we make uh, some mistake? I don't know. We're going to have to. <laughs> I have a doubt about your, your, why do you ask us? <laughs> no, no, I'm just asking. I just want you guys to, to make sure that you understand. I don't feel confident now. <laughs> no, 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 no. Don't do that. No, no, no. I'm just asking you guys to make sure that's it okay. okay so i'll see you guys in a bit okay okay teacher all right when i get a you guys finished no. yes yes Yes, and we finished. You it. And you're sure? Yes, we are sure. You're like, uh, yes. <laughs> yes, we check it. 
Yeah? More than one time, yes. Okay, okay. And so you guys don't have any questions? Um, only we have, we was discussing about the, the word map because in, we didn't things um, make sense there, the, the word map, but then we, we um, research it in uh, Google and I find the meaning of that word. Map. Which word? How do you pronounce map? Map? Map. Map? Map de, de, ¿cómo se llama? De trapeador? Yes. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. Okay. I, I read it. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay, good. So you guys are okay now, right? Uh, you are mute, Erwin. Hey. It's okay. It's a trapeador. But in the, in the traduction, it's fregadero. Traduction or? Yeah. The translator. Translator. Google Translator. Google Translator. Uh-huh. It's fregadero. Um, but it's a trapeador. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. so a, a mop is un trapeador. Uh -huh. Yes. Um, or you can also say to mop. To mop is also. Mop, trapeador. Trapear, mm -hmm. exactly. Ah, uh, it is a verb. Yes, it can be a verb as well. Uh, mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. okay. All right. But uh, uh, only mop is a noun, teacher. Only mop is, yeah. The word mop yeah. is a noun of the object. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay, perfect. Okay, all right. So I'll see you guys in the main room in a moment. Okay? Okay, teacher. Here we go. Yes. Present. Ay, Dios, ya pasó. No estaba cuando pasó la attendance. The last. Uh -huh. <laughs> Because it's Friday. <laughs> he wants to go early now. He, like... Ah, okay, got it. Yes. Okay. Uh, I just said to say goodbye now to you. Yeah, that's what he. Okay. <laughs> um... All right, so you guys are finished? Yes. yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay. All right, so um, we're going to be checking. Can you guys tell me what your, your answers are? Can you guys see this? Yes. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yeah. Okay. Yes. So I'm going to be choosing the first people, and um, I'd like you guys to give me your answers. Okay. So we'll start with the first one, number one. Uh, we'll have a uh, Ronald help me with number one. For for me is how. Okay. Could you read the whole sentence for me? Okay, some of the participants in the testing group have not arrived yet. Okay. Now, can you tell me why you think that's the answer? Hmm. Why do you think that's the answer? 
Ronald? Yeah, no, I thinking, I thinking. <laughs> okay, all right. Okay, no <laughs> okay. because uh, yeah, I'm asking you guys this question because even though it might be right, I I want to know that you guys un can understand why it's right, so that later on you can you can use that same reasoning to figure out the other way. I think that is half because you are talking for more than one person. Okay, how do you know it's more than one? Because say, say some of the participants. But, okay, so the word some, okay, the word some indicates that it's going to be plural. Yeah. All right, very and, good, thank you. And thank But you. it's right or no? Yes, no, you're right. Oh, okay. Yes. Yes, and like I said, I'm not asking you because it's incorrect. I'm asking you because I want to make sure that you guys are, are applying the correct reasoning so that later on you can um, you can figure out other exercises, mm -hmm. okay? Okay. Um, okay, so let's move on to the next one. Uh, Irvin, please, can you help us out? Can you help us out with the number two? Irvin? Irvin? Are you there? Irvin, can you hear me? No, okay. Can oh, there is. Okay. Okay. Can you? Hold on, give me a moment, give me a moment, give me a moment. Okay, okay go for it. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Number four? No, number two. Okay, so what are the factors to decide on the best type of the test is the Characteristics. Characteristics of the product itself. Good. Characteristics. Characteristics. Good. Sorry, teacher. That's all right. All right. Tell me why do you think that's the answer? Because it's a singular. Okay. What what is singular? The, the best type. One of the best type. Okay, so what part is singular? One of the factors. Okay, so which one? Is it one or the factors? Which one is singular? One. One, exactly. So we're going to be paying attention to the one, yes, one not one. the factors. Yes. Right? We're paying attention to the word one. Very yes, good. Yes. Okay, excellent. It is yes. good. Please help me out with number, number three. Okay, number three, uh, numbers of customer. Uh, are satisfied with the performance of the new the new mop. Okay. So tell me why you chose R. R uh, the <clears throat> the plural is a uh, customer. Yeah. Okay, but why why do why don't you pay attention? But over here it says ah. Yeah, ah uh, uh is a number singular. Right. The, 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 the customer is, is plural. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So so okay, so why don't you pay attention to the ah? Uh, and why do you pay attention to the, the, the plural of customers? Teacher, I think that that is a special sentence because, as you said, at the at the first one is a number, is a singular. But yeah. after say 
customer and to, so the confused are you you decide the first one a number is singular or customer so <laughs> you have a doubt okay so right yeah, there is sure. a doubt here so here we have an ah uh, we're and here we have customers so what's what should we pay attention to A number is a, a group team, uh, teacher. When we're talking about a number, it's not a specific number. It's not saying one, two, yeah. three. Yeah. It is a section. Could be one majority of a number. Take a plural verb. So that means it's group. It's a plural. And okay. then customers no. is plural too? No, for me, it's like a single variant group of people. Because a number. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's not, yeah. a, it's not a specific number. Could be both. <laughs> remember the yes, exception? Plural. Do you remember the exception? If it's mm -hmm. just singular, it should be saying the uh, one of the customers. If it's singular, but it says a number of customers could be 10 customers, 15 customers. Okay. It's a group. Okay, it's right. a group too. Okay. All right. Yeah, can okay. you confirm? <laughs> so yes, the thing is that this is uh, the the rule of the exception. Remember, mm -hmm. exactly. whenever you use exactly. a majority or, or a number, number, we don't pay attention to the singular form. We pay attention mm -hmm. to the noun, and if the exactly. noun is plural, we're going to be using the plural form. In this case, the noun is plural because it's customers. So we're going to be using are and not is. Yeah. 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 yeah? Okay. Ready? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Good. Thank you very much. We're going to move on to the next one. Warner, please help us with number four, Warner. The fears of the suggestions. I want to implement um, is the designs of the labels. Okay. Label. <clears throat> Label. <throat> yeah. Um, all right. So tell me why. Is for uh, yes for the fears the the singular for one uh, suggestion. Okay, good. So we're paying attention to the word. What word? Warner, what word are we paying attention to? I'm sorry, teacher. What word are we paying attention to? What word are we paying attention to? Um, yes. Mm hmm for uh, the fears. Okay, good. We're paying attention to the word the first. The first. And the first okay. is only one, right? We yeah. can't have many firsts, right? We only have one first. Okay, very good. Excellent. Um, okay, Edgar, help me out with number five. Uh, number five. Yeah. Okay. Uh, a majority of uh, sister, 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 sisters have 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 function of the meal make our product light lighter lighter. Okay. Good. Tell me why. Why did you choose have? A may a may a majority. 
majority is this a one. majority a, a majority sorry uh-huh is this uh a quality quality could you repeat could you that again? The expression is, is uh, expressions of one quantity. quantity. Right. A majority. Yeah. A majority. A majority, sorry. Uh-huh. A majority is expression of quantity. Right. Okay. So, um, okay. So we are, once again, we have a majority, singular. Teacher, uh, I, I don't know. I think uh, that a majority and a number are like collective nouns. Mm -hmm. If you read only a majority is uh, singular, but if you add uh, other word like, for example, testers, testers is plural, so uh, change uh, from singular to plural. Okay. What do you think, Edgar? Yes, teacher. Yes, uh, I think an uh, a is, is, is one. Yeah, uh -huh. in majority and um, uh, understand and and in quantity. Um, mm -hmm. So, uh, so the, the, the testers is, is plural. Right. So we're going to pay attention to what? A majority, the a singular, majority? or testers, the plural? A, a majority is expression singular. Right. Yeah. If testers is plural. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. I think it's the same case for the number three. Teacher, is the is the it's all the reception. Uh, yes, it's all the reception. Good, exactly. That's what I was looking for. We're look we're, we're going to be using the ha because we're not paying attention to the singular of majority. We're Make it the noun. Yeah, we're paying attention to the noun, not to the quantifier. Okay. okay. Does that make sense? Yes. Yeah. In this case, testers. In this case, the word is testers, exactly, which means that we're going to make this plural. Okay, because testers is plural. But in number four, what happened with suggestions? Oh, because the rule, the 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 um the exception only applies to the the rule only applies when we are talking about a number and a majority. Only to those two. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay, any other questions? No. Okay, let's go to the last one then. Uh, the last one. Quiero ver que me puede ayudar. Um, Yvonne, help us with number six, Yvonne. Okay. A number of comments suggest that the fragrance of the candle is the best characteristic. And once again, uh, we have a number uh, that is uh, singular, but you have the word comments and comments is plural. So the very is suggest. 
Good, excellent. Okay, so we have a number, right? But we're not gonna, so, which is also the exception, you're right. But we're not, so that means that we're going to be paying attention to the noun and not the quantifier. So the noun is plural, it's comments, right? And so we're going to be making the verb plural, in this case, suggests. So a number of comments suggest that the fragrance of the candles um, in the um, of the candle is the best characteristic. All right. Teacher, teacher, how you pronounce the second one? Suggest with the S at the end. What is the difference? Suggest. Suggest. And the fifth one? Suggest. Okay, almost the same. <laughs> no, suggest. Suggest. Ah, okay. Suggest. Suggest. Okay. okay. Well, Thank you. You're welcome. Any other Teacher, I, I have a I have a do suggest is not the plural. Yes, suggest is plural. But the comment is, is plural. No, no, suggest without s. Uh-huh. No, it's not plural. Mm -hmm. The the word for me, I, I think that is the plural, but no. No. no, that is the bird, and you have to remember that you add S at the bird in the third person singular. Mm -hmm. It, she, he, it, and yes. the comments is not he or it or she. It's a number, a group of comments. Yeah, remember that the S is used with third person singular. Right? The S suggests is, uh, the S is added with the third person singular for he, she, it. So that means that this one's singular and this one's plural. All right, does that make sense? Hey, teacher. Yeah? Any questions? No? Don't be afraid of asking. You can go ahead and ask anything you want. I'm here to help. That's what I'm here for. To make sure that everybody has um, those doubts cleared. Teacher, okay. Is from is a clear now is the majority the number. A majority, I pay attention at the non. In the other other uh, other words, for example, uh, the fears, I pay attention. The in, in this case, the um, the quantity, the expression of the quantity. Right. Okay. Yeah. All right, any other, any other questions? No? Okay, all right. No. So this one, well, I'm, I'm sure you guys were, you know, uh, you probably had seen this before, you know, but we're gonna we're going to actually see other ones a little bit. They may not be so complex, but they still they they're still going to test you guys on this. So um, I'm gonna clear this, and we're gonna do this. Okay, so let's practice. Oops, hold on. Let's practice this. So here we have some sentences. One of the boys are or is sick, okay? Three of the men was or were alone, et cetera, et cetera. All of these you're going to decide. Is it are or is it is? Is it was or is it were, okay? So I'm going to guess, I'm gonna get you guys to work in pairs again. I'm gonna get you to work with a different partner, okay? 
and um, I want you to guys to figure it out. So you guys can take a picture so that, um, because these, these are not in your book. So go ahead and take pictures. Okay, everybody's finished? Yeah, okay. I'm going to assign your breakout rooms right now. Um, I'm gonna give you a little bit less time. I'm gonna give you seven minutes. I think you should be able to do it in seven minutes. Okay. Um, Okay, here we go. Let's open up the rooms. Uh... What happened? <laughs> that is a big group. Yeah, it's a group. <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't even notice, but I closed it. Yeah, you did it again. <laughs> I did it again. Exactly. <laughs> like Britney Spears. Okay, I'm sorry, guys. I, I didn't even realize I did that. Sorry. Okay, here we go. Here we go again. Okay. Hi guys. Hi teacher. Come on, Amos. I don't, I don't, I, I can find the, the information. What do you mean you can't find the information? For to do the work. In the, no, it's que le, por eso le dije que tomaran un. Yeah. 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 Because uh, yeah. it's not in, it's not in the book. I told you guys take a pic uh, a picture because it's not in the book. Do you want me to show it to you again? Please, teacher, please. Okay, send it to Okay, so you guys can go ahead and start. Okay. Um, let's practice. Um, one of the of the boys uh, is sink. Yeah. The sentence one. <clears throat> one of the boys are sick. One of the I don't see one of the boys is six. Yes. Six. Yeah. Yes. 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 Okay. yes. And the second, the second of the male yeah. was I oh, know where. Hello. Three. Yes. Three, three of the male. The yes. Three is plural. Yes. Where? Where? Yes. yes. Where yes. alone? Where? Hello. Yes. Three of the men were alone. Yes. The what? three is a R. I think. Several. And now the apples are apple. 
Several. Several is uh, Several muchos. Muchos. Ah, okay. Okay, yeah. It's R. Okay. Many of the Number people. Four. Many of the many, people. Many of the people are students. Are students, yes. Okay. Some of the bananas Some are ripe. Are ripe, yeah. Both of the girls. Yes. Yes. Okay. Many of the people are plural to me. Many of the people. Uh -huh, yeah, for many, uh, many of the mm -hmm. people, uh, for many is uh, plural, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, next part. Number five, so, so most bananas, bananas are ripe. Are price. Are. Oh, yeah. For some, and it's plural. Yeah, for some, yeah. Most of the girls. A lot of the people is or hungry. No, most of the girls are here. Oh, no, sorry. Most of the girls, yeah. So, most of the girls are here. Are here. Okay, number six. Stand. Sorry. Yeah, a lot of the people, a lot of the people, a lot, a lot, a lot of the people. Uh, For me, it's plural. Yeah. Plural. <laughs> Why? Plural yeah. for a lot. I think so. It's okay, teacher. And yes, in this case, people uh, is plural. Uh, for a lot is plural. Or for me, I think it's singular for people. Uh -huh. okay, several okay. for me, several is various, is plural. Mm -hmm. And maybe it's R, because uh, it's no, yeah. no it's exception. Okay. Remember, it's no, you don't say no is. It, it isn't. <laughs> okay, teacher. It isn't. It isn't. Okay. Okay. Or oh, there is many of the people is or are student. Uh, they check the the quantity is many. Many, yeah. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Maybe correct is R. R, yes, I agree. Mm -hmm. For me is uh two. R. Okay. Uh, or there is some of the bananas. The bananas. The some of. Mm -hmm. Some of the bananas. Uh, this whip. Right. Right. All right. Mm -hmm. And this. Right. I don't remember that this is, I don't remember. Oh. Madura. Uh, mm, madura, están maduras. For you is sí. R? R, yes. O is? For me, it is R. Is. 
No, R. R, okay. In order, most of the gear. Okay. Hi, teacher. Hi. We finished. But we have a mistake because we don't remember um, the last one. Uh, we put was, but I'm not sure. Well, we'll we're going to check together as a class. Okay. Hmm. Teacher is in the house now. <laughs> and the dog too. And what? The dog. And the dog. Ah, and the dog. <laughs> I don't know if is your dog teacher or is someone else? No. Dog? Ah, no, no, it's no, Ivan's no. dog. Yeah, it's your dog. Teacher. Two cats, the the, the teacher like the cats. Nor dogs. <laughs> ah, exactly. I remember. No, I do like dogs. I just said um, I don't have a dog. It's just that dogs are um, a little more, um, they're more high maintenance. Mm, yes. You, you know, you, you understand high maintenance? Mm -hmm, yes. Sí, como más cuidado. Yes. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Alto. Yeah, yeah. And I don't have very much time. So, um, yeah, that's why I don't have a dog. And uh, also, yeah, yeah, mostly. But, but the cats, the cats, don't, don't all the cats visit to the neighborhood and, <laughs> and get, get food and something like that, right? <laughs> yeah, no, I actually have two cats. Um, so, Are free of maintenance, right, teacher? Yeah, exactly. No, then, no cats, cats are very independent. That's what I love about yes. them. They're super independent. They, you know, you don't like, they can even like get their own food. <laughs> right. So, mm -hmm. um, you know, that's, that's what I love about them. So, yeah. Anyway, uh, we're going to check the answers, guys. So tell me if um, you guys can see my screen. Um, hold on, give me a moment. Okay, can you see my screen now? Yes, teacher. Yes. Yeah. Yes, teacher. Okay. All right. So, well, we're we're gonna do it this way. I'm going to um, just um, ask you guys to open up your microphone, and you just give me the answer that you think is the correct answer. Okay. Okay. Okay, let's start. One of the boys is or are sick? Is. 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 Okay. Is. I'm not going to say yes or no. I'm just going to, I'm just going to um, uh, circle the answer that you give me and then I'll tell you if it's right or wrong. Three of the mm. men was or were alone? Where? Where? Yeah. Where? Uh, several of the apples is or are. are, 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 are. <laughs> A many of the people is or are students? Are. 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 Uh, some of the bananas is or are. 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 Uh, most of the girls is or are here? Are, are, are here. Are. <laughs> okay, 
All right. Um, a lot of the people is or are hungry. Is or are are hungry. Is is are is are are a lot of people is plural. Ah, uh, is plural. No. They out. Not a lot of are. Oh, the the people. People is plural too. It's, but plural it's collective too. now, but it's the people. So but a lot, ah, but is, a lot of a lot, a lot of, of is uh -huh. muchos. It's, it's, a, 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 it's not a single so, group. Okay, so, quality. Are, 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 Okay. okay. El, el que pueda mejor. <laughs> <laughs> like okay. a seals. Yes, exactly. Okay. Uh, a lot of the bread is or are gone. Is. 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 Okay. A lot. Uh, sorry, half of the cake is or are fro frosted. Are. 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 That's a rock. It's the foca. Okay. Half the is, is or are frosted? Is. 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 Is, oh. is. is frosted. Are. All the monkeys is or are asleep? <laughs> are. 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 All the milk is or are sour? Is. 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 Are. Uh, is, teacher, is, is, is the is. the is sour the pronunciation is sour or sour? No, no. Sour. 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 Sour is. Sour but is sour. Sour is like a uh, like Manga. a pain. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's that's sour like this. Uh -huh. Sour is sour. like a pain. Uh -huh. Yeah, like pain. Okay. So do not confuse sour with sour. Sour. Okay. And sour. Sorry? Sour. 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 Also. Sour. The actor? Sour. No, not sour. Sour. You can see the video again. Sour, sour, sour. Sour, sour. We're having too much fun. It's Friday. I didn't know. <laughs> yeah. The first teacher, the all week is this stress. <laughs> I know, I know, you're right. You're right. Okay. Oops. Sorry. Well, no. Let's go on to the next one. None of the men is or are single. Are is are 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 single. None of the orange juice was or were left. Was. 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 Okay. All right. Was. Okay. So let's check the answers. You guys have given me the answers that you think, and I'm going to tell you if it's correct or not. Um, so one of the boys is sick, it's correct, because even though it's boys, which is plural, but we're talking about only one of them. Mm -hmm. Three of the, the men were alone, right, because we're talking about three, right, so it's plural. Several of the apples are rotten, right, because several is plural. It's more than one. Many of the people are students, that's right, because many is plural. Some of the bananas are right again that's correct because some is plural most of the girls are here most is also plural um oh hold on no 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 sorry sorry most no my mistake most is also like a collective noun mm -hmm. okay and um in that case we're going to be we're going to be paying attention to the noun in this case it's it's exactly. noun girls. Mm -hmm. A lot of the people, 
Again, this is also like a collective noun. So that means that we're going to be paying attention not to the, the countifier, but to the people. noun. People is plural, so that's what we have are. Oh, okay. The same thing here happens, a lot of the bread. In this case, a lot, again, we're not paying attention to the word a lot, but to the noun. In this case, bread is not singular, not plural, but uncountable. And because mm -hmm. of uncountable, we use the, the singular form of the verb. Okay? Okay. Yes. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. So then that's, yes, it's correct. So a lot of the bread is gone. Half of the cake are frozen. Half, we're also talking about collective noun here. And so we're going to be paying attention to the actual noun. So mm -hmm. cakes is plural, so that would be make that th this one is plural, so it's fine. In this case, the same idea, but here cake is singular, so we're going to be using singular form. It's fine. All of the monkeys are asleep. Again, all collective noun. We're going to be using like a collective noun here, so that means that we're going to be paying attention to the the noun monkeys is plural, so this is okay. Are I have the same thing here. We're going to be paying attention to the noun and not to the quantifier because it's collective. And milk is not singular. It's not plural. It's uncountable. uncountable. That's why we're going to be using a singular form of the verb. None of the men are single. Again, this is also the same situation when we're going to be using collective nouns. So we're going to pay attention to the noun. Men is plural, so that means that the verb is also plural. And the same situation here, we're paying attention to the noun. In this case, it's orange juice, which is not singular, not plural, but uncountable. That means that we're going to be using the, uh, the singular form of the verb. There you go. And ta -da. that's it. Any okay. questions? No. It's Friday. I know it's Friday. No, teacher, okay. teacher I have Friday, a doubt in that. There the, are not questions. Teacher, I have a doubt in the uh -huh. uh, last for the left side. Yeah. A lot of, what would be the difference if the uh, sentence will, will be a lot of people are hungry? It will be the same we use are or because I got confused with the people. It was like, I don't know. Sean, yes. like a singular situation. It, it, the, the sentence is not it's not usual to, to see a lot of yes, the, but when you write without the article D, mm -hmm. the, the people, what will happen? It will be the same. We use R a we're lot just, of people. We're just being specific. When we're using the word the, we're being specific. We're talking about a specific group of people. Okay. But, but there's still it's still people in plural. Ah, uh, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. All right. Yeah, you're welcome. Okay, so that's it, guys. I'm going to take your attendance very quickly. Uh, I don't want to, I don't want you guys to, I want you guys to start your week, your, your weekend quickly. So let's do that. Ana Claudia? Yes, I did. All right. And Andres? Claudia? Present. Edgar? Present, teacher. Uh, Irvin? Present teacher. Heidi? Present teacher. Irene? Present teacher. I? Present teacher. Uh, Jose Montes? Jose Ayala? Josue? Present teacher. Uh, Juan Francisco? Present teacher. Jerry. Present teacher. Luis. Present teacher. Natalia. Natalia. Um, Sorry, teacher. Present. Present. Okay. All right. Ronald. Present teacher. Wendy. Present. Werner. Present teacher. Yvonne. Present. All right, perfect, guys. All right, time to start your your um, weekend. Um, so that will be all for today. Have a wonderful weekend, and I'm just gonna stay with Irene. Okay, so Irene, don't disconnect. Or if she's if she's still here, right? 
Yes. <laughs> okay, good. All right. See you guys. Have a Bye. Weekend. Happy weekend. Happy weekend. Happy weekend. Bye. Happy weekend. Bye. Bye. Happy Bye. weekend. Bye. 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 Pero es que no nos queda quedan de último, ¿y por qué? No sé. Juan Francisco. Juan Francisco. No. Wendy. Okay, bueno. Um, aquí se, se, se está teniendo problemas. Okay, Irene, que, um, what uh, question do you have that I can help you with? Uh, teacher, thank you so much for your time, but in this moment, I don't have any, que any specific question, right? And the class today is is excellent for me and I don't have any doubt about the, the class. Uh, after the class and tomorrow I want to going to work a platform and I hope next Monday I will be already uh, I, I will be advanced at platform and now I don't have any doubt and questions. Yeah, that's that's why actually I wanted to um, talk to you about, Irene, that I noticed that you hadn't started the platform. Okay. Um, so um, are there any problems right now that you're, you're having with the platform? No, any problem right now. No, no problems? No. Okay. Um, all right, so remember, Irene, you need to uh, be working on the platform daily, right? Or at least weekly, okay? So, okay. Um, for, so for the next, um, for the next, uh, what, Wednesday it would be? For next Wednesday, um, I need you to have finished um, all of the things that we need to do for that period of time okay so i need you to catch up with everything because um this time around i had to send your grades without a grade right it was zero okay so i really really need you to work on that okay okay right. are you um are do you have any like do you have any inconveniences working in the in the platform no, I don't have any, any, any problem. So right now. What, ha what happened then? Why were you not able to, to work on the platform? And maybe I didn't have enough time in that, in that, in that, in that week because um, I felt a little tired after to work, but I hope next week will be will be good in this in this platform. Okay, okay. All right, perfect. Okay, so um, anything that you need, any problems that you have, please let me know so that I can help you with something, okay? Thank um, you so much. All right. Yes. Okay, well, that will be all then, Irene. Um, take care and um, have a good weekend. Same for you, teacher. Good evening. Thanks. Good night. Good night. See you. See you.